Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to queue three of weekly time tests, uh, 287. Maximum candies allocated to K children. So, yeah, so this one, hit the like button, give me some candy, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this poem. Uh, so, this one, so there's a lot of reading, and I think that's why I'm a little bit slow. But the idea is that for each pile, you can split it into piles, um, you know, and in a greedy way, the way that we want to think about this one is binary search on the answer. And what I mean is that, like, for example, let's say you have K children, you have three children, and you want to give them uh, two candies, right? Well, in that case, that means that this pal um, can, uh, this pal can uh, satisfy two children, this one four children, this one three children, and you sum it up. And then that means that, you know, can, can I ha satisfy at least three children? If the answer is yes, then we can try more candy because you know maybe more ca more candy will always satisfy fewer stu uh, children so we tried that to see if, uh, whether that is good and that's basically the idea this is binary search um i will have a video out at some point that i've been delaying on binary search um to kind of go over the details i write my binary search the same way not because i memorize but because i ask myself the same questions every time um and in in the end it looks about the same but yeah but basically here if x is the number of let me write this out x is the number of uh candy to give to each children right and then now this at end of the c c is the number of of children number of children we can satisfy Fine, right? And we have to make sure that it is K or greater. Um, again, if this is good, meaning that we satisfy enough kids, then then we move, then mid is a good answer, right? So then we let move left to the middle bound uh, and see if we can do bigger, right? Um, and yeah, otherwise we make, we shrink right and that's pretty much it. Um, I can draw, I think the way that I would usually draw it is just do something like this. Um, but the idea is that Basically, this is going to be true, 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 false, 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 right? So, um, meaning that the more candy, eventually you cannot, you know, uh, have, or you don't have enough for the, all the children that you want, um, right? So then here you go, okay. So the idea is that, let's say middle is here. Well, if this is true and we're looking for a true answer, right? Um, because if this is true, that means that we want to cut off the left because... We already know that we want to maximize this, so we know that we don't want to move to the right while this answer is still a good valid answer. So that's why this has left as you go to mid. On the other hand, if we have where we fall on F, well, we know that everything to the right is not a good answer, so we want to move to the left. And also the the mid is also not a valid answer. So you want to move the right to the mid minus one. Of course, this is assuming that left, right are inclusive bounds, so that uh, so that at the way n, when left is equal to right, then you only have a bound, an inclusive bound of one number, and that is the number that you return. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Um, of course, this is going to be the sum of the candies, uh, which is I think a little bit trickier to be honest. It's going to be ten to the twelve, at most. So this is going to be log of ten to the twelve, which is roughly twelve over log base two or something, right? So what is that actually? Mm, 10 to the 6 is a million, right? So 1 million is 2 to the 20. So that means that this is roughly 40, right? 40 iterations. And of course, the good function will be O of N, as you can see here, because we just go through, um, go through each candy. Oh, uh, yeah, go through the way N times. So this is going to be roughly O of R log, uh, oh, sorry, log R, or n log r, where r is the range or 10 to the 12. And n is just n, right? And of course, this is going to be all of one space because we just have a couple of variables and that's it. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, you could watch me suffer live during the contest. Next.
does that mean? <clears throat> I'm trying to understand this poem. And most one pile. Oh, this is clearly by the research, but uh, I feel like I've gotten this one wrong before. Good, we try for more. Which one I turn to see? Okay. Nineteen and zero foot. I'm use X for some reason. Uh, X. That's what I need. Five and zero. What? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Um, yeah. I'll see you later. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye bye.